To demonstrate how a Byzantine artisan may have created the head of the giraffe depicted in this mosaic, a master mosaicist has invited us into his Chicago studio. Every mosaic starts with a solid foundation. I create uh, in this uh, box uh, a cross-section of what uh, we will see if we look to the substrate under a mosaic. The first century AD architect Vitruvius described the ideal foundation as being made of four layers. The first one called uh, Statumen was created just with uh, big pieces of bricks or pottery. Next came the rudis, a mixture of rubble and lime, beaten solid to a thickness of nine inches. On top of the rudus, it's called the nucleus. It's uh, created with a mix of lime and uh, small pieces of brick. Finally, the setting bed in which the tesserae were placed was an even finer layer of mortar. It's uh, a mix created with uh, lime and uh, powder of brick. Here, our artist marks the area on the setting bed that will become the head of the giraffe. Ancient artisans would have used a sharp instrument to incise guidelines into the mortar as they planned their mosaic, using string, nails, compasses, and calipers to help lay out their plans. Next, he uses pigments of various colors to designate where the figure in the background will appear. As he fills in the mosaic, these colors will guide his selection of tesserae. The pigment won't show in the final mosaic. To cut tesserae from raw materials, artists use a hammer and a chisel-like blade set into a block. With the hammer, it's possible to cut uh, very thick pieces of marble like this one with not a lot of force. In experienced hands, these tools can quickly and accurately produce tesserae of exactly the desired size and shape, even from fragile materials like glass. As the artist lays the tesserae into the setting bed, he carefully chooses sizes and shapes to fit the subject. With a, a lot of practice, just uh, rotating the piece in my hand, I'm able to tell the size, the shape, and to choose the size I'm going to place without looking. Smaller tesserae are used for more detailed areas. He chooses materials and colors to fill in the background, and others to outline the figure. Finally, the surface of the mosaic is leveled by grinding the tesserae to an even height. The pumice stone, it's a very soft uh, and uh, light material which uh, uh, can make the top of the mosaic very smooth and uh, uh, even 